Hi, my name is Hugo Slay and I'm the Director of Marketing and Industry Development in Intel's Technical Computing Group and I'm talking to you today from the show floor at Supercomputing 14 in New Orleans, Louisiana. We made a few key announcements uh, this week at, at Supercomputing, mostly focused on Knight's Landing uh, and Xeon Phi and our future roadmap, uh, as well as our fabric and our Lustre storage file system. We're really excited about the momentum that we've seen recently on Xeon Phi. Just over the last several months, we've seen tremendous excitement on Knight's Landing. We've announced that we have over 100 petaflops of deals that have come through. These are deals where customers are expecting to receive Knight's Landing in the next couple of years. They haven't even seen the product. Uh, they're so excited about it. You may recall that uh, the Nurse Quarry system was announced a few months back. Uh, also the Trinity system recently, more recently. Down Under Geo Solutions announced one of the world's largest deployments of Knight's Corner, uh, the first coprocessor for Xeon Phi. Look over my left shoulder, you'll actually see the, the demonstration of Down Under Geo Solutions uh, workload running behind us within the booth on a 20 node cluster being powered by both E52600 V3 processors, formerly codenamed Haswell, as well as Knight's Corner coprocessors. The other things that we announced this uh, year at Supercomputing were also the upcoming product, Knight's Hill, which will follow the Knight's Landing processor. It will be produced on the 10 nanometer process node and will also integrate the second generation Omnipath architecture fabric. Let's go back to international supercomputing where we first announced our next generation high performance fabric called Intel Omnipath Architecture. We were going to have a fabric that was the next generation to enable exascale computing, but it also works at all scale of, of high performance computing. What was really cool about the announcement at international su supercomputing is we were going to be integrating the host fabric interface for your fabric into both our future Xeon Phi's and future Xeon processors. That will enable lower power and lower latency in your fabrics. What we've done this week is we've announced some more information about Intel Omnipath fabrics. We will be 100 gigabit per second line speed. So that is the industry leading speed that's out there for any fabrics. We announced a 56% reduction in latency. We also announced a 48 port switch. You now can build more dense switches, more dense clusters that are lower cost and they are lower power. We also announced a new ecosystem program that is called Intel Fabric Builders. This will be all the different components that are needed to pull together complete world-class solutions that are based on Intel Omnipath architecture. Luster is the storage software that lets these high-performance computers take data from rotating disk and move it into the machine at unprecedented volumes and scales and speeds. Luster is a critical piece, and in fact, it's the dominant scale-out parallel file system technology used in high-performance computing worldwide. It's a great technology. It's open source. Here we're announcing Intel Enterprise Edition of Luster software, version 2.2. For the first time, you have a mature tool in your hands that is graphically based, that lets you interact with your file system, no matter what hardware it's running on, and make sure it's performing at spec find any errors in the myriad of thousands of devices that are feeding up your data and fix it in your hand, on a tablet, on a laptop, on a desktop. Second, we've added features for big data, such as using Hadoop infrastructure. You can now run MapReduce jobs in your HPC data center architecture. By adding these features, small pile performance, ease of use, open ZFS, really we're giving Lustre a nudge out of the back office of the national labs and the high performance technical computing arena and really bringing it a step forward to where it's much more applicable to high performance business computing, enterprise class computing. Luster has a great future in front of it. It is the technology that can move data faster than anything else out there. It is open source, it is available, it's got a community around it. Intel's got the right solution for you and your Luster needs. Join us and use Luster. Thank you for coming to SC14 in New Orleans.